everyone, welcome to the Blonde Psychic Tarot. Today I am doing a video about what you should do for those of you that are in a connection and you're not sure where it's going. What should you do? Should you wait? Move on? What should you do? You don't know. What's going on with this connection? What's going on with this person? What's going on with your person? We're going to find out now with this reading and get some clarity for you in which direction you should take. Please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. I would really appreciate that and join my community on Facebook and Instagram. I also have groups you can join for free and you can meet with other psychics from around the world. Please join my podcast. I would really appreciate that also. Oh, please, um, if you have done so already, I thank you for joining my community. And um, yeah. So go ahead and let me know. Um, sorry, I don't even know where that was going, that one. Um, go ahead and pick pile one, two, or three. Timestamps will be below. And let's get some clarification for you guys. Group one, welcome to your reading about should you stay, wait, or go. Let's see what's going on with your connection with your person. We're going to clarify with the tarot going to try and get a look into what's happening in your connection, how they're feeling. We're going to look at the start of your connection, the middle and the end of your connection. We're going to get some oracle cards and answer cards as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Group one, so far you've pulled the two of swords, nine of cups, hierophant, four of swords, Still shuffling to get you some cards. I really, really like to shuffle on air because then people can see um, what cards are coming out. We can see your energy as a collective. We can see what's going on, you know. Um, nice. Three of cups for your final card and we'll get one more card. Judgment. Beautiful. Okay. So what's going on at the start of your connection is you guys are on a break. Obviously, that's why you're watching this video. You want some clarification over what's happening in your connection. You're at a crossroads. You don't know whether to keep trying or, you know, you don't know whether you should take the road and walk ahead alone or you should just, you know, put the effort back into this relationship. I feel like you've invested a lot and you realise that and you've built a lot with this person and you still love this person very much but you just don't know where to go at this point in time. You're at a stalemate, you're at a crossroads, you don't want to make a decision but you know you're going to have to. This person is your nine of cups. They are your wish fulfilment. They are what you want in life. They are the partner you have been asking for. They are your happy ever after, your wish fulfilled. Nine of Cups talking about wishes coming true, wishes being fulfilled, dreams becoming a reality. So this person is your wish fulfilled and you know this. This is why you're in this hard energy of do I stay or do I go? Do I turn my back for good or do I just walk away and forget about what my true heart's desire is? You are seeking advice from family or friends. Your circle's telling you one thing, but your heart's telling you another. Maybe this person didn't treat you right and you walked away and had a fight. Or maybe um, there was a sudden breakup. Maybe someone was cheating or caught out in a lie. Something happened that tore, tore you both apart. But the advice you're seeking is that from, from those in your inner circle, and they just want the best for you. They just want better for you in your life. So the advice you're seeking is to obviously walk away and find something better. Someone that will love you. And put the energy in that um, you're owed in a sense. Okay. But on the other hand, the Hierophant also um, talks about um, can lead to marriage, reconciliation, getting back together. And wanting to work on something to bring it back together. So two different messages there. I'm feeling like you are getting both of those messages. Because your heart's saying one thing and your friends are saying another. And you're really standing in the middle of that crossroads thinking, 
you know, where do I go? You're fearful and anxious. You're like, your life's on pause. You don't know which way to turn. Because this is at your center of your reading. You're in the stage of being fearful about losing your familiar, I can never say that word, familiarity, losing your normalcy, losing your, you know, family in a sense, losing your person. It's like a death has occurred. You've gone from being with this person every day to not being with them at all. You're fearful, you're anxious, you don't know which way to turn. You're just like trying to go within and trying to find out what decision, what is the best decision for you? Which way do you turn? That's why you're seeking this advice. And it's at the center of your reading. You have, so this is at the center of your reading. This is um, showing up. This is the stage you're in at the moment. You're seeking advice because um, you can't feel like you can't reach out to your person and have an open and honest conversation with them. You're fearful that you've lost them for good and you really just don't know where to turn at this point in time. Again, it's head over heart friend over heart situation but your outcome cards are really good you've got judgment and three of cups so three of cups talks about returning to a loved one success um someone from your past coming back celebration successful and happy joyous time so could even lead to marriage again you've got the second thing of second um view of a marriage which is good so very successful about this working out and working out in your favor and judgment. It's like you go through your time of judgment, you have your time apart, um, you know, you both realize that you can't live without each other because you do end up following your heart. Judgment happens and takes place. The karmic cycle finishes and brings this beautiful success into your life so you can be together once again. So group one, yes. Hang around, hang in there. It will get better. It will work out. Just stay in there. Try and stay positive, okay? All right, let's get you some oracle cards from all. These are all of my decks, by the way. If you wanted to buy any of them, um, the link will be down below for you so you can purchase them. This is my butterfly effects deck. The head caption says, We are all just broken butterflies trying to heal our wings. Let's get you a butterfly effects card. Okay. All right. It has been said that something as small as the flutter of a butterfly's wing can ultimately cause a typhoon halfway around the world. What a beautiful message. It has been said that something as small as the flutter of a butterfly's wing can ultimately cause a typhoon halfway around the world. This is speaking about your heart's desires and not giving up on your inner voice. You know, just like a type of such small thing as a um, flutter of a butterfly's wing can cause a typhoon halfway around the world. No matter where you are away from this person, um, your heart is still pining for them, still wanting them and still wanting to bring you back together. It's about listening to your inner voice, listening to your intuition and following it following your true heart's desires, as I've been saying all along. Let's get you some um, angel advice. Okay, let's get an angel guidance card for you. Sorry, guys, my daughter's being a pain. Let's get you an angel advice card. Oh, you got two. Sun rays are your loved ones looking down on you from heaven beautiful message there so you're being guided by your loved ones in heaven they're looking down on you and sending you signals and signs that you're loved you're never alone and trying to lead you back to this person the sun rays are also a positive omen about um coming back together the sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck remember so this person will come back to you and you will have sunny days once again and you're also due through Samson, Samson and Goliath. Remember Samson's the um, biblical character that fights the um, giant and has the super strength from his hair. So it's about, you know, staying strong, remembering who you are, trying to keep it together, remembering your strength. Maybe some of you are Leos as well. 
because strength is the card of the Leo. Remembering your strength, remembering your Samson, being your inner Samson and bringing Samson out when you are ever feeling in doubt, okay? Remember your strength. Stand in your strength, okay? Let's get you a Talking to the Moon card from my Talking to the Moon deck. It's one of my favourite decks. Oh, you got two again. You guys are getting lots of messages. So you've got Strawberry Moon. In North America, it's called Strawberry Moon. It served as a signal to early tribal colonies that wild strawberries were ripened and ready for harvesting. Your harvest in your life is ready. Your next chapter will be amazing. See, you're about to get ready to reconnect with this person, talk it out, hash it out, and start your next amazing chapter in life with them. It won't be too long now. Flower Moon signifying the flowers that bloom during the month, that new beginning will always come and rebirth is always there even after death. See, it's all about new beginnings with this person, really putting the effort in, um, staying true to your um, intuition and beliefs and wow. knowing that there will be a rebirth within this connection, okay? Let's get your final answer to see what the, from my, ah. Do you, can you stop please? Sorry guys, my daughter's being feral. Let's get you an answer oracle card from my answers deck. Can we have a card for group one, please, about this connection? All right, you've got any day now. So any day now, they're going to reach out to you to reconnect and have this conversation about reconnection. And a year from now, what's going to happen in a year from now, please, guys? Can I get some clarity? Deeper commitment. So marriage, um, taking the next step, moving in together, really deepening your relationship and making things work out for the better. All right, group one, thank you for watching this reading. I hope you got the answers that you wanted. Please take care of yourselves and I apologize for my daughter. Take care. Bye-bye. Group number two. Welcome to your reading about what is going on with your connection. Should you stay? Should you leave? What should you do? You just don't really know what to do in this connection. You're in limbo. You're wanting answers and clarity. That's what's led you through this reading. So let's get you some answers. We're going to be clarifying with the tarot first. We're going to look at your beginning, middle and outcome of this relationship or this connection, sorry. And then we're going to get you some oracle cards and a final answer card, okay? These are all my decks as well. Um, if you'd like to purchase them, they are linked below. Even if you don't read tarot, they're just full of positive affirmations, um, answers, things like that. So you might like to carry them around with you. Um, please take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. I really appreciate that. If you have already, thank you so much. All right, let's get you some more cards. So, so far, you've got three of cups, king of wands, nine of wands, eight of pentacles, four of swords. Finishing off. Oh, okay. Okay. I say that with a heavy heart, guys, because you finish on not such a great note. Okay, so you're open on a great note. So you were happy with this person. It would maybe have been someone for your, from your past because Three of Cups talks about someone returning from your past. So maybe you got back with an ex um, or you're still with that ex, some of you, and you just not feel like, you don't feel like it's working out and you're just not happy. But you... You walked into this thinking it was a great thing to do. You thought this was your person, this was your forever, this was your happily ever after. And um, it signifies this with the Three of Cups right now. King of Wands, see, you're full of energy. This is your um, person, the masculine in the relationship. Taking Wands, energetic, positive, adventurous, Walking into this, so you have like the masculine and feminine energy here with the Three of Cups and the King of Wands. And you both wanted this really bad. You both were excited about this connection. 
you both were, you know, wanting to make it happen. King of Wands talks about actions, Cups talks about emotions, so you're both on the same page emotionally and um, physically as well. So you both wanted this quite um, strongly. You're both passionate about each other, um, had fun times together, really did want a future and to plan that future out together. That is the energy of the past though. At the centre of your reading, so I feel like a break has happened or a break up um, is happening. You're in your nine of wands at the moment. This is the centre of your reading. Um, there's an ongoing battle with either yourself or um, this person. So there was a fight. Um, you know, you're really in your, you're not going through a, a nice time at the moment. You're going through sleepless nights. Can't get this person off your mind. Constantly on your mind. Um, you're just in limbo, like what if, what if, what if. You don't know where to turn or where to go. I, it's kind of like that saying I said the other day in one of my readings. You're surviving, you're eating, breathing, drinking. Some of you may not be showering or taking care of your physical appearance because you just don't care. But you're so heartbroken that you're just surviving, but you're not living. You forgot to live. You're just doing the basics to survive day by day. And it's a really horrible um, place to be in. Because you want your commitment back. You want the commitment back with this person. You want the beautiful energy that you had back um, when we opened the reading of the Three of Cups and the King of Wands. But you just don't have it. You Something happened. You've parted ways. And this is what you're really wanting. You're wanting your commitment and your partner back. You want your person back because you have a lot of love for them still. But it's just not happening. And the finality of your reading is still in indecision. I feel like there's not going to be a decision for a long time. One of you really wants this and one of you really doesn't. You're very fearful and anxious that, um, you know, they're going to find someone new. They're going to find someone better. They're just not going to come back to you. And I feel like it's the feminine in the relationship more. If you're in a same-sex couple, I apologize. Just take what resonates and leave, leave behind what doesn't. You know who I'm talking about, obviously. But the feminine is more wanting this rather than the masculine. And um, she's fearful and anxious. And we're like, is this ever going to happen? And she's questioning the universe a lot about, is this going to happen? Is my person going to come back? Because... She's just all up in her head and she just can't get this person out of her heart. And she's coping really hard. She's having a hard time with it. I feel like the masculine is as well, but he's distracting himself a lot with avoiding his thoughts and feelings. So he's not dealing with his emotions. He's just pushing them back and coping by not dealing with them head on. And so you finish with this stalemate, this indecision, this not making a decision, not walk working on the relationship just um being stagnant energy and not a good place to be in so there's not going to be a decision made that you're just going to stay in this um unknown you're not going to reach out to each other this unknown energy you're not going to reach out to each other because you're both um just not ready and it's not going to be like that for a while so i feel like this is done in a sense this is done and there's better out there for you and I know that's not the news you want to hear. But um, I feel like a decision is not going to be made. And waiting around is just going to keep upsetting you and doing your head in. So you've got to try and refocus your energy onto something more positive. And, um, you know, try and take so much of your energy off of this connection. All right, let's get you a talking to the moon guidance oracle card. I'm sorry, I don't like delivering bad news, but I just feel like they're wasting your time and there's better things out there for you. Okay, can we have an oracle card please to cl clarify this connection? Strawberry Moon, oh, you guys got the same as group ones. Strawberry Moon in North America is called Strawberry Moon because it served as a sign to early tribal colonies that wild strawberries were ripened and ready for harvesting. Your harvest in your life is ready. Your next chapter will be amazing. So I feel like when you guys finally heal, accept that this connection isn't going anywhere, start focusing on yourself and manifesting the kind of love that you want in your life, 
Your next chapter is going to be amazing because it's all going to be about you, what you want in the world, and it's just time to focus on you and your dreams. What do you want? What makes you happy? Start focusing on you and putting all that energy you poured into the relationship back into um, yourselves, okay? Let's get you a Butterfly Effects card. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. I've done so many readings today. I had personal readings. I had horoscope readings, which I'm still in the process of doing. And I just felt pulled to do this for somebody. It's like somebody needed to hear this message today. So I hope I get some good feedback about it. Okay, so you got be a child again. Flirt, giggle, dip your cookies in your milk, take a nap, say you're sorry if you hurt someone, chase a butterfly, be a child again. So really reconnecting with your childlike energy, having fun. You've kind of lost yourself through this process, through putting so much energy and focus on this person. Get back to your childhood things, what makes you happy. Act silly, have fun, go have fun with your friends. As it says, just have fun and get back to your core being of finding yourself again and finding your childlike innocence and, you know, having a laugh. It's all about trying to make yourself feel better and healing. All right, let's get you a um, biblical character to try and get you some guidance at this time in your life. Breakups are hard. It's like a death. Um, so let's just try and move on. you got Archangel Christiel. So you guys can pray to Archangel Christiel and ask for help and guidance. Is an archangel of peace, love, balance, and the divine feminine Christ consciousness. See? You need to start healing. So pray to Archangel Christiel. Ask her to bring you peace, love, and balance back into your life. Christiel offers powerful angelic support in helping you to stay centered in Christ consciousness amid amidst admit oh my god what can i say that word amidst any challenges or struggles in your life and in raising your vibration and expanding your awareness so you can embody a higher level of your divine christ conscious light see all about getting back to your back in touch with your peace love and balance and bringing it back into your life so that's archangel christiel if you guys forgot the name of that archangel Let's get you a final answer, even though I think you've already got your answer and, you know, it sucks. It's horrible. But at least you can get some clarity and try and move on. Can we please have a final answer for group two? Follow your heart. Follow your heart. I know your heart's still pining for this person and it has been broken. You really have to work on healing your heart, putting it back together, putting your pieces back together and finding yourself, okay? So I think following your heart, the message there, even though you're wanting this person and wanting to reach out to this person, the message is there to heal your heart and heal your um, chakras and bring balance back into your own life, okay? So pull the love back into yourself before you move on to anything else. All right, thanks so much, Group 2. I'm sorry it wasn't the positive messages message that you wanted. Um Take care of yourself, take it day by day, and just take, you know, <laughs> heal and move on. Sorry, my daughter's being a silly in the background. Take care, bye-bye. Group three, let's get you some messages about your connection. You're wanting to know what's going on in your connection. Should you stay? Should you wait? Should you move on? You're really in limbo. You don't know where to go or where to turn or what to do. So let's get you some answers about what you should do, okay? We're going to clarify with General Tarry first. Can you stop, please? Of course, Mum. Sorry, my daughter's being silly this whole time <laughs> and I don't know why. Let's get some re let's get some cards to clarify. Alright, let's get you some clarity and some answers on your connection. Should you stay? Should you go? Should you leave? We're looking at past energy, the middle energy, or present energy, and then the future of this connection. Well, you guys got very similar cards to group number two. Are you coming into group two? You choose, chose this one to um, carry on from it. Nope, got some different cards now, which is good. Middle energy. Oh, you guys could be dealing with an Aries because we've got the Emperor. 
and final cards. Okay. One more card, please. Oh, we've got two. <coughs> Let's have a look. So you're opening the um, reading strongly with Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about someone from your past. So this is definitely about someone from your past because with your final card, you've got Six of Cups as well, and that's talking about someone from your past. So this definitely is a love, past love connection. Um, you may still be with this person right now, committed, thinking it's going somewhere, or have some doubt about um, where it's going in a sense because you also got four of swords which talks about fear and anxiety and stress so you're like really stressing over whether this is the right connection for you whether you should stay whether you should go or whether you should even waste your time you really thought this was your person you thought it was going somewhere and you were solid but maybe there's a lot of fighting or something's happened and now you're questioning this connection quite a lot the middle energy is about um the feminine in the relationship, mature female. So the feminine is also talking about, this has got a lot of fiery energy, this reading. So um, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo um, is the feminine or the masculine. But um, Queen of Wands really showing up as the feminine energy in this reading, very mature, really thinking with their head and not their heart and thinking about um, what's good for them in the long run. So you've shown up strong here with the feminine and masculine energy because the emperor, again, is a fire sign. So maybe it's two fire signs together. Um, the emperor is Aries. Um, he's a very strong, controlling, masculine energy, knows what he wants, stands strong and um, firm in his beliefs and goes after what he wants. And he showed up. So he's really strong. This masculine that who you're dealing with in this relationship is very, very strong-minded and takes control of what he wants and goes for it because he's shown up here um, strength and the emperor. So, sorry, seven of wands, which is determination, standing up for what you believe in, going for what you want, fighting for what you want. So I feel like the masculine maybe does want this connection more than the feminine and is fighting for it as we speak because this is your current present energy or it's going to come to the realization soon that this Queen of Wands, because Wands is talks about actions and taking action. Wants his queen back, wants his queen of wands, wants to go for it. And maybe he's just waking up from this realization and going to go for it and take action towards it because end ending energy is three of pentacles, talks about um determination, willpower, going for something you really want, giving it your all, putting a hundred percent in, and you know, really taking charge of what you want out of life. I feel like this is more the masculine and the feminine's maybe taking a step back in this connection because the masculine was in his head about it and didn't know what he wanted. And the masculine's waking up and realizing that he wants his queen of wands back. He wants his person back. She's gone. She's taken a step back and he wants her back and he's determined and putting 100% in to get her back. Because the outcome card we got was new beginning, death, it's over. So ending of one cycle and starting a completely new cycle. And Six of Cups, which talks about returning back to your past. See? So we open with returning from your returning or someone from your past. So maybe you've broken up a couple of times and you returned once before. And then you're returning um, a second time or a third time, even maybe a fourth time. Maybe you're in this energy of this is your person, you know it's your person and you've returned to them a couple of times but you're returning back to them again. Six of Cups, revisiting the past, returning back to the person. You used to are drawn to each other like magnets, you know it, lots of fire energy and positivity so you will be returning back to this person. You've broken up a couple of times I feel, it's like back and forth, back and forth but you will return to them once again and it will be a completely new beginning once again all right let's get you a an advice card from my talking to the moon deck oh you got the wolf moon it's about our inner emotions hidden feelings introspection dreams hopes secret wishes self-analysis reevaluation self-exploration it's about reconnecting ourselves with our highest spirit our true self our highest being our higher consciousness see 
I talked about the Emperor and the, um, which is an Aries card, the Emperor waking up to his emotions and waking up to his higher self and realizing he wants his Queen of Wands. So this is just reaffirming that the masculine or the Emperor is waking up and is going to give in and to his emotional side. He's going to face his emotions and start chasing his Queen of Wands down and pursuing her and showing her that he wants her. And again, it's about reconnection. See, guys are getting reconnection all over the place. So you are reconnecting with that person from your past. You've been told three times now. Let's get you an angel guidance card. These are all my decks, guys. If you like them or are drawn to them, the links are down below. You've got Saint Joseph, which is Jesus' father. This creative, gentle, loving man filled with compassion, wisdom and understanding of how things fit together. Isn't that funny? The masculine is waking up to his emotional side, I just said. And Joseph is your biblical character. And he's gentle, creative, loving man filled with compassion, wisdom and understanding of how things fit together. So, as I said, the masculine is waking up. He's understanding that you're a perfect fit. You do belong together. And he's getting in touch with his... Um, emotional side his higher self and realizing that he does want you in his life and you need to return back to his life because you belong together all right let's get you a butterfly effects card from my butterfly effects deck really enjoyed doing these readings guys i'm glad i actually did it happiness is a butterfly which when pursued is always just beyond your grasp but which if but which, if you will sit down quietly, you alight, may alight upon you. I'm going to read that again because my throat just literally just closed up like I couldn't speak. Maybe that's a sign of you and your masculine not in communication, not having open and honest um, heart, heart from, from the heart conversations because I, I just was really focused to my green um, selenite stone. And it's funny because my little, I don't know if you can see it, my little, oh, I just turned off. This was on green. This is my little diffuser. And it was actually it changed to green, it changes color. And it's on green during your reading. So that's talking about heart chakra and opening your heart chakra and really having open and honest communication from your heart space. And my throat was closing up. So I feel like you haven't been in that sort of headspace with this person but it will be happening the masculine will be waking up to his emotional well-being and getting in contact with you happiness is a butterfly which when pursued is always just beyond your grasp but which if you will sit quietly you may may alight upon you so it's saying you haven't been in communication you need to, to have a break be silent with each other have no communication to really wake up and find out what you wanted in your life. Which step did you want to take? Where did you want to go next? Sort of the universe intervened and tore you all apart so you could be brought back together even stronger than before. All right, let's get you a final answer from my answers deck. And it needs more time. So again, just about timing and patience. The masculine is in the process of waking up. Maybe it does take the time for you to do some more healing work and pull back your energy a bit. Really open and get into your heart space. Ask um, the angels to heal your heart space and also heal your person's heart space. You can also um, ask for healing of the relationship and to be brought back together. Manifest it if, back if you want. And you can also ask for it to be um, to heal your throat chakra. So you can both have open and honest conversations about this connection, okay? It will happen. just takes time and patience. So just have some patience, guys, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope this resonates for you. Let me know below in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.